Hi, welcome to Chemical Technologies YouTube channel. And in this video, we'll be seeing about the multicam editing in the cut page of DaVinci Resolve with the DaVinci Resolve Speed Editor. So first of all, just organize your clips with a media page or you can import the clips in the cut page as well. So you have a small icon over here to sync all the clips to keep it in the same line. So I'm just going to click this in the left side corner and you can see all the clips has been scattered away in a different different place and we need to sync that first so if you have a time code attached you can sync by time code but as of now we can also sync with the audio and in and out points so i'm going to sync it with the audio so i'm just going to hit sync and it automatically realigns according to the audio waveforms which is available and with the perfect sync you can just play it towards play it forward and check uh, how your cameras look and the left side you can see the camera structure and the right side you can see whatever camera you are selecting so I'm just going to hit save sync and you can see the blue color icons in the left side top where it shows it has been sync so from here you can take up your speed editor so you can just hit sync bin and you will be seeing the entire range of cameras and you will be seeing the in the left side of the media bin you will be seeing all the contents which is available over there so as a first step I'm just going to select a master angle let's say my camera number five is my master angle which has from start to end so I'm going to hit camera number five here and you have five and from start to end I have everything so uh, make sure you're not using video only I need audio also as of now so I'm just removing this and just hit append or smart answer or whatever it is preferred to you uh, it works all the same because we are importing into our first clip and it automatically creates a timeline so then onwards when you scroll through your timeline and you can see you are scrolling through your uh, source clips as well so let's say at this point uh, we are in camera number five we can see the five has been enabled over there so uh, when the time moves on let's say you want to jump over to camera number three so you can just press camera number three and just scroll through it up to which much you want you can just scroll through it and just leave it so it's how easy to build uh, go and build up so as of now you can see there is an audio level for camera number two also you don't need that so in that case you can just undo by pressing the escape double tap undo and you can press video only so whenever you are going to start your clip as of now i'm going to do camera number three let's say I'm hitting camera number three and just scrolling you can see there is only video there is no audio so that is the thing so only I have a master audio at the back in the first clip and other also only video clips so then uh, you can start on let's say I, I like camera number six now so just press six and move forward and I want at this point I need to come back uh, to my original shot so here it is so I'll just play this back just hitting the timeline I'm just going to play this back just hit the play button over here hit play and everything looks as a perfect sync and yeah that's good so let's say you want to trim these you can hit your uh, uh, roll button to trim between uh, which in point and out point you want to keep where you need to cut it's very simple and intuitive and easy so like this you can start building your timeline let's say uh, you can hit source again and sync bin you can start building your timeline let's say camera number three is good again uh, from the point or camera number two is there so you can just press camera number two and just go on so that's easy and simple I'm just going to press the live overwrite over here so when I press live overwrite it is enabled so you can press any camera number that you want so let's say I'm going to go to sync bin uh, sorry in the source and sync bin you can see uh, live overview enabled and when I press camera number one or if you want to choose camera any camera number that you like hit camera number three and you can see the red light over here so just scroll it back and camera number three lies over there so let's say you want to jump back to camera number four just hit camera number four and just scroll back your camera number four is available over there so that's how easy and simple and if you want to cut it over here let's say camera number seven just hit camera number seven and you can cut it over here and camera number three just hit camera number three and you are cutting it over here so as of now this is how uh, we can do our uh, 
cutting and let's say if you want to go back and it automatically trims and if you want to extend it it automatically goes on so that's how easy and simple it is and let's say uh, you don't have camera number 5 at this point but uh, you can see the timeline you have camera number 7 and 10 so if you want to extend with camera number 7 you can remove the video only over here you can just press camera number 7 and you can see the in and out points if you want to extend it how much ever you want you can extend it and hit the out point and just hit source override so it is going to update it automatically so that's it so you can go to the timeline and see how it works so perfectly in sync there is no issues and let's say if you want to add a transition you can come and hit the dissolve button over here and it adds a beautiful transition in between and you can just hit uh, trans duration if you want to change the duration and at this point if you want to change the source of the camera let's say I'm going to the source sync bin as of now camera number two is going on let's say you wanted to camera number three you can hit camera number three and you can see the in and out points over here and just hit source over right it is automatically going to create a layer up above so that is all about uh, doing your multicam editing and everything is sync you can add any camera you want at any point of the time and if you want to adjust your audio you can just select the audio and you can just increase and decrease you can see the audio levels getting adjusted it's very simple so everything is sync so that is all about editing in editing a multicam clip inside the cut page of resolve and there is a lot more to explore in this speed editor so stay tuned, uh, we'll be back with another video. Thank you.